Okay. So, we're done with that. And, oh! Okay. I just remembered something. We have to make the ground for our player to be able to walk on. Okay, so, create a sprite for, well, it's like for everything that you're basically going to do. So, anyway, create a sprite, name it ground, or, well, I guess you can name it whatever you want to name it. I just am naming it ground. And you can leave it, well, if you're going to color the whole block, you can leave it transparent, um, which I am. So, I'm going to do, make a black outline here. And by the way, this is just really simple. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. So, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to make this one little block. There we go. We have a ground. And make an object called, <laughs> you guessed it, ground. Well, hope you guessed it. All right, anyway, if you didn't guess it, uh, you we're all winners. Okay, choose ground. And the only thing you have to do is put solid. Just click this right here the check mark so well so oh, the check mark also, comes up and uh, click if you are solid working in game maker right, so Lite, okay uh, which is the free all right now we're back uh, here demo version. okay now we want to do um, you're going collision to go to advanced in the event mode, editor new event is, uh, collision you with file, ground you open up game maker you go to file all right you go so to this is again mode, very so, yeah. easy what we want to do is we want to go to uh, it's in move by the way want to go to move to contact in direction just type in on your keyboard <coughs> excuse me direction and the maximum equals 12 and against solid objects and that's all that's all for that all right so yeah well not all for the whole thing but all for okay never mind I'm just moving on all right now set vertical speed so set vertical speed to zero. Just leave it how it is. Don't check relative. Leave everything exactly how it is. All right. And the um, there's only three more things we have to do. All right. So just bear with me. If I'm going slow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. All righty. So anyway, the next thing we have to do is uh, keyboard left. Alright. Okay, so we want to go to control and we want to go to check empty and we want to go to negative four. Okay, and then leave this, everything else how it is, except for the l only thing is check relative. Alright. And after that, you want to go to. Alright, jump to a uh, position. Okay, and for that, it's negative 4, 0, relative. And that's all. And the last thing is sprite. Uh, change sprite. For this, we want to do, obviously, our player. But this time, we do sum image, sub image 1. And speed 0. This will change it to the second image on our sprite which is the one going, well, obviously left. Okay, so that's what that is. Alright, and that is all you do for the keyboard left event. And now we do another event, which is um, keyboard right, which you guys probably already know. <laughs> I'm just, just blurting it out here. Alright, so I want to do um, check empty, uh, this thingy. Alright, and we want to do for the x, the x equals 4, and leave everything how it is, but just check relative. Okay? So there we go. And then jump to a given position, which is, alright, here it is, which equals 4, and then, well, x equals 4, y equals 0, and then check relative. Okay? And then the last thing is chain sprite. So, obviously, player, and then sub of zero, which would be the first image in our player sprite. And then speed, zero. Okay. Alrighty, and then, so now we go to a key press for a new event. And so key press up. 
All right, now we're starting, uh, starting jumping. Uh, just telling you. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, <laughs> there's only two things to do with this, so it's pretty easy. Uh, don't worry, we're almost done. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we want to do um, object ground x equals zero, y equals one. Check relative. And then we want to, the next thing we want to do is set vertical speed to negative 9. And don't check relative. And click OK. Leave everything else the same. And um, that's it. That is all we do. <laughs> so we want to go back over here. Click OK for a player. Now we want to make a room. So click this little uh, mirror thing next to the create object. Alrighty, and here's our room. And I'm going to turn the grid off. Okay, for this, um, to pick your objects to put in the room, you click on this box, and we have a ground in our player. Which one? Well, this is the option in which you can select. So I'm going to select our ground object, and I'm just going to layer it. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Um, alright, so I'm just going to simply, instead of just um, clicking on the, um, on the uh, uh, map, I'm just going to call it map, because <laughs> that's the first thing that popped into my mind. Alright, <laughs> I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to um, press, well, hold down the shift button. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Shift button, and then click and drag. Whoa. Click and drag. This allows me to paint on the map. <coughs> excuse me. And just layer it right across. And, uh, yeah. Alright, and then I'm going to put in my player object. And now we got the whole thing, the whole layout. And, uh, so let's just test it. And to test it, we press this green thingy up here, triangle, I guess, that says run the game. All right, there we go. It says saving executable. Okay, you can Okay, we're just waiting. What the heck? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So here we go, and we're going to press the left arrow key, and look at that, and he moves, woo, and I press up, and he jumps up, and I press right, and he moves right, I press up, and he goes up again, and yeah, so that is how to make a basic platform game. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, there is going to be more on the way, so uh, yeah, and I guess... Feel free to subscribe, but I'm not forcing you, because personally, it doesn't really matter to me. But, you know, do whatever, and, uh, yeah, I will see you later.